नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन इन दी प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव टॉक दी फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ पी थ्रेड एंड स्कोर क्रिएट एंड पी थ्रेड एंड स्कोर गिवन नाउ इन दिस सेशन लेट मी डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू बिकॉज इन योर लैब मैन वन देर आर मल्टीपल एक्सरसाइजेज हैज बीन गिवन एंड यू नीड टू परफॉर्म एन नंबर ऑफ टास्क सो लेट मी डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू फ्यू ऑफ दी सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो दैट यू विल बी इजिली एबल टू परफॉर्म ऑल दी टास्क right so let's say if you or if we want to create multiple threads <clears throat> and we want that one thread should do something else as compared to the other thread so consider like i want uh, i want to create two thread in a process one thread let's say i want to calculate factorial and another thread let's say i want to find out whether the input number is even or odd kind of task okay so how we can do such kind of thing for creation of thread let's say we create p thread underscore t type variable so if i am going to create two threads i am taking thread 1 and thread 2 two. two variables right and i want to take two functions so when i create the thread i need two functions and both the functions would have return a void pointer that you already understood in the previous session so let's say i am calculating factorial and inside also this i define a a void pointer let's say n is one of the i am taking as a variable okay and i don't want to return anything so i am returning null let's say right another function i am defining similar kind of structure void pointer even odd we are going to calculate through this function so i am just writing even odd inside that i am passing void pointer so let's say there are two different variable i am taking let's say i am taking it as temp 1 here i am taking let's say temp2 okay temporary variable kind of thing now inside this function i also don't want to return anything so i am returning null okay so these are the structure now if i want to create two threads i use p thread underscore create twice so i pass the address of that variable thread 1 argument i am not passing anything so null here i am first thread i want should calculate factorial so i am passing here factorial function argument i need to pass something so let's say i am taking argument like integer arg or you can say it is a factorial so i am taking like n i can scan it so if i want to scan the value of n from user i can take uh, an integer variable like this and i can pass the address of that integer variable let's say one so n i will take and when i want to pass here i need to type cast this with void pointer like this and i can pass n and i am passing here address of n because there is a pointer so void pointer i am passing the address of this variable n i hope you already understand this particular thing because we have discussed in the previous session right now in the next thread i want to create another thread so i am using thread 2 and i don't pass any argument here and here i am calling even odd even odd function and in this also i am passing the same argument okay so for the same argument i am calculating even odd and the argument is n only right now once we have created this later on we will perform join operation on this thread so join underscore p thread underscore join operation 
when we pass the join operation on let's say thread one i don't want to store the return value of that so i'm just passing second argument as none then see thread underscore join let's say i'm joining the second thread also and i i don't want to store the return value of this so it is also none right now till this everything is fine we need to define the body of these two functions otherwise it will not work so let's say i am taking here now whatever is coming in temp1 i want to store in some other variable okay i can use directly temp1 also but i don't want to modify that value so i'm using let's say integer pointer temp2 or maybe x or y whatever you want temp2 is already used so let's say i'm taking x here and here i am typecasting that the void pointer i am typecasting with end so temp1 i have typecasted with integer pointer so whatever the value as n i am passing in temp1 that will be copied to x okay now i define another let's say i am taking a variable let's say i here and i am applying a for loop to calculate the factorial so i i start from 1 when i is less than or equal to i am saying the value of or you can say d reference operator x because x is containing the value of n which was stored in temp1 and i am incrementing this i okay and inside it actually i want to store it so let's say i'm taking one variable as fact initially fact is having value one so what i'm doing here is i'm multiplying the value of fact with value of i and storing in fact again right so i hope you understand what i'm trying to do here and later on i want to print because i'm not returning anything so i'm just printing the value of factorial here as integer value and that will be stored in fact so i'm returning it right so my factorial is done now if i want to check even odd for the same now here i am taking let's say the same thing i am doing so i am taking an integer kind of variable let's say y and i type cast my pointer void pointer with integer pointer and i am taking here temp2 okay so the value of temp2 will be copied in y now what i want this value which is stored in y i want to check whether it is even or odd so for checking even and odd let's say i am taking an integer that store the return value so i am taking an integer z r e t and i am checking the value of y well, by applying mod let's say 2 now if this r e t value or return value is equal to 0 then we can say the number entered number is even right else we can print the entered number is odd as simple as that so it is not a very challenging thing to understand right so these two functions i hope you understand and I have called here to p thread underscore create and twice I am calling p thread underscore join. So I have the overall logic is clear what I am trying to do here. Let's save it and let's run. Let's check what is the this function, how does it work with GCC? It is working fine, there is no problem. And let's say if I create here, so it is asking some number. And let's say I am entering 5. It is printing factorial is 120. And it is saying the entered number is odd. So let's enter some even number. Let's say 8. The entered number is even. 
and the factorial of 8 it is printing right and you can observe that uh, in the very first time when I have executed first it has printed the output of very first thread then the second thread but the next time the second thread output came early as compared to the first thread because first thread was taking more time so because both the threads are executing concurrently any of the thread can be executed first and any of the thread can be executed later right so that is not the case here now if you want to check how much time uh, this program is actually taking there is a command time and in time command you can pass your a dot out file and it will tell you so let's say i am taking here 10 input and it is taking somewhere around 5 it is giving you seconds in 5 seconds it is giving you output next time if i again take the same it is taking one second around now let's say again i am taking it is taking 1.4 right so this program is taking this time the real time it is saying zero minutes and these many of seconds okay so for any of the program if you want to check at run time how much time it is taking you can check like this with the help of time command now why am i highlighting time here because if you want to compare uh, the the performance of the multi-threaded program with a program where you are not creating multiple threads but you are calling multiple functions right so if your all the threads or all the functions are doing a little bit of long time or you can say long calculation it is taking large amount of time then easily you can find out the comparison or performance between the multi-threaded process and multi-function process so multi-threaded process performs well it will always take less time as compared to the multiple function calling process right so if i demonstrate you uh, in case to demonstrate this particular thing so let me show you the code this code i hope you are understanding right so how we can create multiple threads here i have created two thread the very first thread is calculating factorial another thread is calculating even odd if you want to create three threads four thread five thread that you can create the very important thing let me if i change the order of join operation okay so because here i am joining both the threads like here if i don't join this thing here so if i am creating very first thread and let's say i start joining here so if i join here by using p thread underscore join and i am joining thread one let's see any difference happens or not so we need to recompile the program and we can execute it again so in terms of output it will not generate the difference it is same but in case of time requirement the difference may be there so you find out there will be a difference now you check let's say i am giving 10 again and the difference you can check now it is a start taking in in seconds it is taking 2.5 seconds earlier it was like 1.1 point, 1 point something now you can run it again and let's say i'm giving the same input it will always take more than the previous one in previously let me highlight the difference previously i have created two two threads thread one and thread two once both the threads has been executed we start joining so p thread underscore join thread one p thread underscore join thread two now in this code what i have changed is i have created thread one and then i apply p thread underscore join on thread one then i start creating thread two and then i join p thread underscore join on thread two right and you know that this join operation block the calling thread so that means when the thread one executed before creation of thread two during the execution of thread one the original or primary thread will be blocked so in that duration the next thread cannot be created right so it will create delay so that's why the second program is 
taking larger time as compared to the previous rec previous uh, code right now if you change this i'm just last section i'm just covering in this so if i modify this rather than i call these things like this i don't want to create all this so let's say i make this all these things as comment so i don't want to create thread rather than thread creation i'm just calling functions so what i can do is after i scan this i can call function let's say uh, the factorial and inside the factorial function i can type cast the pointer that is void pointer and i can pass n here i can also call the even odd function and i can do the same thing i can type cast with integer pointer right so in that way i am not creating two two threads whatever the function i have defined i am just calling those two functions right i hope this is also fine right so let's compile this so let me clear it so when we compile the code again it is working fine and when we run a dot out it is asking let's say i enter 10 it is giving me the result fine it does not a problem i can create two threads or i can create two different functions and i can call both the functions right now in terms of time requirement if i compare so if i calculate now the time requirement has been increased you look at here here it is taking 2 seconds 2.14 seconds earlier it was taking 1 point something 1.4 1.5 1.3 kind of seconds so when we are creating a single process single threaded process and we are calling multiple functions in that it will require more time generally as compared to the if we have created multi threaded process and we allocate different task to different thread they can concurrently execute and we can save the time i hope you are clear with this so i am closing this session see you in the next session thank you everybody for connecting